Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 52 of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had, uh, we were way far away, actually. We were still at the Northern Caverns, I think. But I managed to drag myself down south, deal with all of my inventory, and now I'm at a wonderful, once I get to it, 184 for weight, with all of my main weapons and stuff I'll need for digging up graves and whatnot on my person as well as pretty good armor the uh, Joshua Graham's armor will hold me for a long time if not the whole game and the helmet for combat there we're good and yeah pretty much all good gonna be running this pistol for a while so yeah, we're pretty much golden. Alright, now, what I think we should be doing is heartache by the number to help Cass out a little bit. And that means we have to head all the way up to the Crimson Caravans, which I do have unlocked because I passed by it on the way to uh, the Northern Caverns because it's kind of next to the Gunrunners. Even though their stock is more varied in general. Whoa. That was a... That's a thing. What in the world is going on over there? Uh, trying to get something with the scope so I can figure it out. And I'm picking everything but it. There we go. Something exploded. Or there's a bunch of fire barrels. Either way, there we go. Alrighty. The lockpick skill is used to open locked doors and containers. Duh. Alright. Now we just head inside and talk to these people. Hey, hey window! There. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. So. What's next for you? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. You're welcome. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way, so it'll be up to me to get things started. Alrighty, goodbye. I'll see you around. And, whoa. Everyone's just walking around now. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Well, I'm looking for work. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Okay, I'll take it. What do you need me to do? Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. Okay. It's been a pleasure. And Camp McCarran is NCR territory, so we'll head over there, I guess. Get that unlocked as well. Uh, depend on me. And that brings me right to Camp McCarran. Which is right over there. I thought it would be a little further along. Well, shit. <laughs> Alright, well. Feral ghouls have lost the ability to reason and will attack any human on sight. And that's why we put bullets in their heads, kids. They are basically mindless zombies. But just because the rest of them look it doesn't mean that you can do that. Because that is mutantist, I guess. That'd be mutantist in this game, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't claim to know what I'm talking about ever. All right. This is a broken down building here. And we just walk southways a bit. I just hope we don't run into fiends on the way there. Well, I do kind of a little bit, because that'd be fun to destroy them with the survivalist rifle. And I was right, that middle 
that middle bit there, the top right part of the sight, because it's misaligned, is the way to aim it. But it takes some getting used to because you're used to doing it with the whole middle of the sight. But it works. It does work. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think I'll go around this way. And we'll just see Camp McCarran once we go through this. Which is a big, expansive farmland. Considering, you know, it being the apocalypse and all. <laughs> well, apocalyptia, as I sometimes like to call it. And, you know, considering most of this stuff would not be able to grow otherwise, it's kind of impressive that the NCR is able to push this sort of thing. You know, kind of cool. And I assume this is getting close, if not there, to uh, Camp McCarran, which, if I recall correctly, used to be an airport. Now, I'm very sure it used to be an airport before it got converted into their uh, base of operations. And that is weird. Never seen that before. Hello. I'm glad Ringo's back. Got a good story to tell, too. Yeah, and you're welcome that he was able to do that. Alright, I'll head into Camp McCarran and now I'll deal with that. And if I recall correctly, there's someone to talk to about some bounties on fiends so I'm gonna do that too get everything done in one go alright you are not the guy to talk to um where is the guy to talk to I think he's over here somewhere in this area anyway Ten of spades. Hey, my man. Ten of spades. First recon sharpshooter at your s service. Uh, ten of spades. Where'd you get that name? The LT. Goral Betts gave it to me. See, I wanted to be ace of spades. But the LT says, sorry, kid, you're t t t too green. So he calls me ten instead. Ah. Uh. It's okay, though. I get a few more kills under my belt, he'll move me up to Jack. Jack of spades. Sounds better, right? A little I keep bit. at it. Eventually I'll make it to ace. Think I'll skip queen, though. Hopefully. Uh, well, that really depends on you. Uh, what do you do around here? Kicking ass. M mostly kicking ass. See, we're watching the perimeter right now, looking for those fiends to come back. When they show their faces, that's when we go to work. One shot, one k k kill. That's the first recon way. All right. How long have you been a sharpshooter? Shit. Long as I can remember. Had a rifle in my hand since I was three. That's what my dad always says. Learned to shoot on our ramp, way west of here. Same as the LT. He's a f f farm kid, too. All right. Uh, when did you enlist in the military? Oh, they recruited me, what, a year ago? Taught me to kick even more ass than before. These guys, they really know how to kick some ass. Alrighty. Cool beans. Yeah, I'll s s see you around. Nice to learn about you, buddy. Okay, um... Uh... Yeah, I think they're inside the building. But I want to see the guy that does the bounties. Uh, Ferg. Uh, he's not out here right now, I think. Or he's over here, and I'm just a big old dumbass. If there it's it bad is. news, you can take it up with the colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. Oh, it's going to eventually. You're having trouble with fiends? Damn right I am, and I'm paying bounties. Ooh. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Might be. Give me their names. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. <laughs> Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast and he's brutal. 
Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. Ah. Oh. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go against Cook Cook. One thing I should tell you about Cook I Cook. hate rapists. Piece of shit is pure animal. He raped one of my snipers, and what? that makes this personal. Also, he's got a flamethrower, and he's damn good with it. So pick from off from I a hear, distance. He either rapes or burns every living thing he gets his hands on. Only one man's gotten close to killing him, and that's little Buster. So he says, anyway. Maybe it's bullshit, but I'd still ask him about it. Who's little Buster? Bounty hunter. Talks big. But he's still alive, so he can't be completely full of shit. I think he's out in the yard waiting to claim a couple bounties. Anything else I should know? One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. Oh. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you, and don't get careless. All right. Cool beans. Right. I think I'll engage that quest now. But I'm going to be finishing the other one before I start doing that. A uh, little buster, though. I want to talk to him before I do anything. Oh, and it gives me a marker straight to him. Cool. Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Daughtry owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Major Daughtry said I should ask you about Cook Cook. The rapist with the flamethrower? Yeah, that's a combination I stay the fuck away from. I was stalking him for a while. Real good at that. Watching people from where they can't see me, you know? Only mm -hmm. one thing I learned about that asshole. Keeps a bunch of Brahmins. Most of them he roasts whenever he feels like it. But there's one. Must be his pet or some shit. Doesn't let anybody near that Brahmin. Somebody puts a bullet in her? I bet that'd piss him off good. Might make him careless, too. Hmm. Alrighty. I don't need to know anything else hey, about this yeah. guy. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? Maybe. <laughs> that's a... Uh, that's an idea, maybe. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and finish the other quest, and then I might go off to Cook Cook. Maybe. Depends, really. If I find Driver Nephi on the way there, that'd be cool. Get two with one go. Alright, and I think where I'm supposed to be going is upstairs, obviously. Nope, nope, I'm wrong. Absolutely wrong. It's over here, I think. Yep, it's over here with the scientists. A little busy at the moment, but I can talk. All right, uh, need help with anything? You mean, give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there in his office. Oh, I'm supposed to Between talk to him. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. Mercenaries? What for? I can't say. We're not supposed to talk about the research. Not the details. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. Okay. Nice to meet you. If you need anything, I'm almost always in the lab. All right, nice to meet you, too. All right. We'll talk to uh, this Hildern fella then. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I All presume right. you're here about Vault 22? Uh, no. Uh, actually, I have an invoice for you from Alice McLafferty. From Alice? I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Uh, you mentioned Vault 22. I might be willing to help. Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. 
We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22, where to begin? Okay, I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards mm. of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. All right. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Well, I'd say nothing is impossible. Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over, but how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. I don't know the I why you're calling me that. No idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Scientific discovery is never so simple as that. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Hmm. I'll think about it. Very well. I hope you'll consider this an open offer from the OSI. Now, I'm sure your time is valuable, so unless there was anything else... Actually, I had some other questions. Oh? What might those be? Like, what do you think of the NCR's chances against the Legion? To be frank, I have no idea. I leave the fighting to Colonel Shu, and I expect him to leave the science to me. Too many people have opinions on things they know nothing about. The more ignorant they are, the more opinions they have. America. <laughs> I'm going to keep making that joke because it keeps fucking throwing it in my face. Tell me more about the OSI. The Office of Science and Industry. It's a rather expansive topic. I could talk for hours, but I'm sure I'd bore you. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. Our work focuses on practical matters, medicine, engineering, biology. Ah. The dam, for instance. OSI roots its energy supply to our cities in the West. That's only one responsibility of this office. You said you were the director of OSI. Director of the entire OSI? Me? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to plant seditious ideas in my head. <laughs> no. I direct our eastern operations. I've been responsible for squeezing unprecedented levels of power from the dam. Ah, I see. I'm also okay. confronting the problem of food production in what little spare time I have. But I've found some promising leads. The Vault 22 thing. So the NCR is a food shortage? Not yet. But our government understands the value of proactive thought. Our studies project an imbalance between production and consumption. Eventually, or, yeah. for a layman such as yourself, not enough food, too many mouths to feed. Mass starvation in a decade or so. Well, I understood it the first way, but okay. Uh, you're researching all those problems yourself. Yes, with the assistance of my team, of course. Okay, goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Well, I think I'm gonna talk to her. Maybe she knows a little more about it. The whole thing. A little busy at the moment. What is this, this place? The OSI lab. We don't get many visitors. The smell puts people off, I think. Nobody Maybe. ever said science would smell clean and fresh. Anyway, you get used to it if you give it some time. Fair enough. Are you a scientist? I know, I don't sound the part. Get raised by Brahmin ranchers and you never lose the twang. Drives Hildren crazy. Well, I think it's good. But I know every inch of the power grid from Hoover Dam to Shady Sands. That's what we do here. Try to optimize the power output from the dam. Some of the others are working on an agricultural project, but truth be told, they aren't making much progress. Not yet, anyway. What's your role here? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. All right, then. Nice to meet you. All right, I'll uh, talk to him again about it. Maybe that'll do something. 
We spoke earlier, didn't we? About Vault 22? My offer still stands, if you've changed your mind. Uh, yeah, I'll investigate Vault 22 for you. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Okay. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Um, Downloading the data will be handled by your Pip-Boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. Best of luck to you. Not mm. that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. Well, now you're being complimentary. Now I'm doing your shit. Mm -hmm. That... The way he phrased how he, I would get paid it seemed a little off. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? Oh, now we triggered her. Uh... He asked me to get some data from Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildren sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Maybe Hildern and I need to have another talk. No, wait. I don't mean to see any harm come to Dr. Hildern. Unless by talk, you just mean talk. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. All right, I'll look for her. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. All right, goodbye. Right, good luck. And we'll talk to him in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. And we can talk about the games we're currently playing together. And how much Hildern seems like a skeevy motherfucker. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.